Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family friends. In today's session on Azure, the service that I'm here to talk about is Azure Bot Services. So we'll see what it can do for you and we're gonna test this by embedding the bot that we'll be creating into our web services. So before I do that, uh, let me just take a moment over here just explaining what bot is and what it can do for you. So in simple term, a bot is nothing but a program created by human beings to do certain repetitive work. The best way to explain this, you must have gone to a website in which you know there is a small window sort of in which you type a question and you get an answer for that. Now that is based on uh, that business historical data based on the way the customers interact and try to get some information. So what they do is in that program, they put all those questions uh, based on, you know, generally what customers they ask and uh, they populate it over there. And when you try to answer, it's, if that if it is in that uh, question base, you'll get the answer for that. The idea is here that uh, if you can maybe allow that to human being otherwise, which you have to put to do some other productive work, why not let a machine do that? And that is where the artificial intelligence comes in. And obviously bot has improved over a period of time. You must have seen that a lot of companies they've invested into artificial intelligence, such as Amazon. It is using Alexa. It is also kind of bot, right? It's like a virtual assistant. Uh, you have a Google Home, you have a Cortana for Microsoft. So all these are nothing but uh, bot. But as I said that it has evolved over a period of time, uh, but this is, a common example of how bot can help you and how it can help a, a business. Now, this is using bot in a good way, but you can also use bot to, to create certain bad things. All those bad actors generally, what they can do is they can create a botnet and they can spread a lot of Trojans on multiple computers at the same time. They also use uh, this kind of service to spread uh, distributed denial of services, also called a DDoS attack. So that is using bot in a bad way, right? But what we're gonna do is we'll concentrate on what are the benefits of it and how you can utilize. So what I've done is I already have a website. I already have a very basic website, which is there running. Actually, let me show you. So this is a website which is already there with the page Welcome to India, super simple. And what we're trying to achieve is we'll try to embed the bot that will be creating into this web page. So if the customers there or the clients who are coming to this and they want specific uh, question answered, they can uh, use that. So that is what it is. So Azure Bot Services provide you the framework. It provides you the platform to test uh, deploy, publish, uh, so that is what uh, bot services is in nutshell. And once you deploy in the backend, it is using standard web app. I'm just telling you this from the cost perspective. So whatever the cost associated with the standard web app, you'll be, you'll be paying for that. And also on what channels you want to deploy. And the channel comes under the category of standard and premium. Standard are Microsoft first party uh, services such as Skype, uh, maybe Teams, Cortona. And if you want to deploy this on your own services, own applications, own website and all those, that will come under the premium category. Again, there is a different pricing for that. So something to be of mindful. But that is what we are trying to achieve. We'll use a, a QA Maker uh, website to create a knowledge base, publish a create a service, and then we'll try to embed this into our website. So let's see how it is done. So, what I'm going to do is let me go to QA Maker website. And what we'll do is we'll create a knowledge base. We don't have any knowledge base, and it's a three step process. Let's go and create a QA service. Since I'm already logged in into the Azure portal, it takes me to that page. That's the API integration between the two. And uh, we'll name it.
as long as I get the green check mark, I'm good. Pick your subscription, use the pricing tier. I'll try to use the free ones. In this case, I already have a resource group, which I'll try to deploy. For the pricing tier, I will again use the least expensive. And the location, pick the one where you want to deploy. And for the app name, it has to be unique. So as I said, again, as long as you get the green check mark, you're good. Click on the create button, it's validating and we'll just wait for this to deploy. Actually, I got an error, it's already used. So let me pick me demo one now. Okay. Okay, let's click on create, validating, and initializing deployment, and let's wait for this. So the deployment was successful, so we have completed the first step, and let's go to the second step in which we'll connect our QNA service to the knowledge base. So what we'll do is pick our ID, pick the subscription, pick the QNA service, did it actually I have to refresh maybe this is the one that we just created pick the language you want and for the name for your knowledge base And as I said that uh, we'll be using a specific question and answer. So what I've done is uh, actually, I'm gonna use this uh, this website because it has already question and answer. If you want to create your own, you can also do that, but we'll keep it simple. Let me just put that URL here. Rest everything, I will keep it the same way. Click on Okay, let me I think everything is you might have to refresh the page a couple of time. Uh, that's why I think it was showing the error. So I did just uh, click this a uh, couple of times on create your knowledge base and hopefully it should be successful. Okay, so the knowledge base was created successfully. And as you can see that uh, as part of that website, there's some question and answer, which is already there. But if you want, you can also add your own Q&A pair. So let me just go and click just to do a little bit of tweaking. So in the question, I, will, I can type just Namaste. And in the answer, Aapka Swagat hai. So all the English folks, Namaste is uh, commonly used for greeting people and Aapka Swagata means you're welcome. And I will save and train. So like this, you can always tweak it. You can put your own question and answers over here and uh, create your own knowledge base. So let me just quickly test this, the one that we just created. So I'm just gonna type in Namaste. Okay, and as you can see that uh, I got uh, the answer, which is Aapka Swagat hai in this case, right? So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll try to publish it. Okay, I need to maybe refresh because uh, So you just refresh the page and go inside this because it was not letting me, the publish button was not visible. And I will just click on publish. And yes, I want to publish this. Okay, so the knowledge base was uh, published successfully. And uh, as I said that there's an API integration between QNA Maker and the, and the Azure. And here, as you can see, it is asking me now to create a bot. So let's go inside this. I'll click on create bot. And as I said that, uh, 
in the back end, it is using the standard web app services in order to create a bot. So if you want to give a name, whatever name you want for the bot handle, you can give. Make sure you get a green check mark. Pick your subscription for the resource group. I will use the one that I already have. For the pricing tier, you can choose a free or, or standard one. Let me just pick the one. I think it should work. For the app name, I will leave that to the default. I don't need to change anything over here. For the location, I'll pick Canada Central and click on the Create button. So bot seems to be created successfully. So I will go to resource. Okay. And the one that I'm looking for is the channel. So if you want to just test this, you can test in the web chat. So if you just want to test before you uh, embed this into your web application or web services, you can do it over here too. But uh, the one that I'm interested in is to embed this into my web services, right? Actually, let's test this over here since it's already. So I will type in Namaste. And that is what I'm getting. So it's okay. So let's go to the channel and let's see how we can embed this, right? So you can see if I go to the edit, these are the codes that I'll be needing. So I need this embed code and I also need the secret key. So what I'm going to do is I will just copy this. And remember, I have this uh, web server which is running. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed this uh, code into this uh, web server. So I'm not going to my web server. Let me go and uh, try to change the code, very basic code. Try to put that uh, That code into this. Okay, and you'll see this is the secret key it's talking about. We need to grab that from the Azure portal too. Okay, so let me go back to the Azure portal. This is the key I'm talking about. Don't worry, I'm gonna just delete this. I'm just using this for demo, so I'll remove everything. So, so let me just paste this here. Okay. Close this. And now what I'm going to do is I'll try to browse to my web page and hopefully the chat option is there. So here we go. You see, because I embedded that into my web server, and if I type over here, Namaste, it should respond to me, Aapka swagat hai. So you're welcome. If I type anything which was there, so let me just try uh, Passenger. Let me, I'm not sure if that, that is there, but let me just type Passenger, so it says no. Uh, let me just type immigration. Okay, so anything which is there in that knowledge base will be there, right? Uh, if I type maybe visa, I'm sure it should have something with the name visa because it's an immigration website. There we go. So, you know, oh, the font does want to register. So this gives you an idea about how you can integrate and use Azure bot services in order to test deploy uh, your bot and how you can embed this into your web services. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, have a good day.